Joe, I'm just happy you and everybody can be here to witness this. You're going to tell your kids as kids as kids that he was real. He existed. The myth of Chael Sonnen stood before us. He brought down the hometown hero. And when it was all said and done, it was one more in the record books, one more in the win column, and one more for the bad guy. Undefeated and undisputed. Not for long. Well, first off, I offer absolutely zero apologies. And secondly, listen, guys, if you're not willing to go too far, you will never go far enough in life. And I don't care. I don't promote fights. I pick fights. I'm like John Jones. I sound like Sean Combs. And I got trombone-sized stones like John Holmes. Welcome to 2000 and Chael. What happened in that press conference? We got asked questions by the media and then we responded to them with our voices. You gonna walk to the cage with, with the belt on Saturday and ask Dana to put it on you if you win? It's my belt, I slept with this thing last night. You're looking at the reflection of perfection, the one that gets all your attention. You're looking at the man with the biggest arms, the man with the greatest charm, and the man in Chicago to do a lot of harm to a guy three doors down. My neighbors were twins. They got a Mercedes for their birthday, but just one, they had to share that car. They had to share that car. Who gets to drive today? But as I said, the real champion sits before you today, undefeated and undisputed. What do you say to the critic who says, well, Sonnen's just a big mouth who was in that fight the first time with Silva because his testosterone levels were four times higher than they should have been? I would say, Hello. That's it? That's all you're giving me? Maybe I could ask a question. Maybe I could ask three of Michael Bisping. First, what you gonna do when you know who? How you gonna deal with the Man of Steel? And how will you react to Sonnen's attack? Tune in on the 28th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and we will find out who the real world champion is. You know, you look at me. Uh, there was years where my father didn't even make a hundred grand, or barely made a hundred grand. And sure, we had a maid, but she only came twice a week. What do you think happened the other five days? How happy are you with your performance tonight? Anderson Silva, you absolutely suck. Super Bowl weekend, the biggest rematch in the history of the business. I'm calling you out, Silva, but we're up in the stakes. I beat you. You leave the division. You beat me. I will leave the UFC forever. Ariel Helwani, post fight at UFC. Ariel, is that camera big enough to take in the largest arm in Westland, Oregon, that has found its way to Houston, Texas? Because that thing looks a little bit small. So, how's everything with you today? How is your day going? Are you doing all right out there? I'm doing You're out great. there in like New Mexico or or Montana or something like that. Some some My, godless part of the country. Where where are you guys located? Miami. It's not godless. Where are right. you? That's right. Going We're to Miami, da 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 da. Yeah, that's a good song. Good for you, man. You made it on the radio. <laughs> I'm the man of the hour, Joe. Too sweet to be sour. What you see is what you get, and what you don't is better yet. I'm the women's pick. I'm the men's regret. And if you win against Chael Sonnen, you made a bad bet now. Right here on the UFC's new home, Fox Sports One, Vandalay Silva. Six feet tall and 205 pounds, boy, until I met you, I didn't know they could stack crap that high. Whoa, 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 I will let you know when I'm done, Joe. I just got done with the world champion. If you think I want to add a middle-aged comedian just for the goddamn pleasure of it, you better think again. Vanilla Silva, three months, you and the bad guy. Unbelievable.